Hello guys, this is Maz Mazur from MM Stack and this is my full coverage from ITC in Asia 2016. Starting off the show with some network thing, the Teltonica portable router was at a hot deal just because of its small size and to convert your cellular data into a Wi-Fi network. Secondly, we were having 360 security cameras, fingerprint attenders and many more. Next were the Viper, a well-known brand was having 14 and 22 inches Windows PC tablets which were gaining too much attention just because of their humongous size and running Windows 8.1 on the go. The best test screen displays were at the optimum corner with their fully sized tabletop and a snooker table which at the first looked weird but thereafter it was an amazing thing to watch. I was in the favor to change the way the people play pool nowadays. Moreover were the Samsung Ultra Slim 4K 65 and 75 inches TV and video walls but the huge 100 inch indoor SMD LED was something new in my region and console gaming on it will be lows. Yes, third on the displays were TCL which was awarded the Honorary Award this year at CES 2016 and was named the third best TV producer in the world. We're having a wide range of displays but the best thing was the UHD Smart 4K 65 inch display with great color accuracy. Next were my all favorite thing, the budget gaming beast from ASUS as well as the custom build of Gigabyte with Core i7, GTX 1070, 16 gigabyte of RAM and thermal cooling and was built inside a custom tempered glass mid PC case with ambient lighting. The DIY tempered glass casing from ASUS was just something fantastic along with Corsair gaming keyboard, mouse combos and Logitech wireless keyboard with built in mouse. At last but not the least was the future, the game of 3D. I got a chance to capture the process in building a 3D netball which was very satisfying along with some great variety of 3D printers, 3D models as well as a 3D printed robot for fun. The future of 3D has tend to change the lifestyle of humanity, make it more precise and simple as well as easy. And in the end was the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge in gold, displayed with its great features. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to watch my last video, links in the description.